You make 35,000 decisions every single day. Most of them are invisible. What to eat, what to say, where to click, when to stop. But here's the twist. The more decisions you make, the worse your brain performs, until one day you snap, spiral, or surrender. This isn't burnout. It's a silent glitch in your brain's operating system. Let me take you into a true story. A man stands in front of a vending machine, 53 snack options. He stands there, frozen, three minutes pass. Then, he walks away with nothing. Why? Because his brain, after a full day of choices, had simply run out of fuel. This is the underreported killer of productivity, clarity, and sanity. Decision fatigue. You start your day energized, alert. But as choices pile up, emails, texts, breakfast, outfits, meetings, your brain's mental currency starts running dry. By 3 p.m., you're no longer deciding, you're reacting. Signs you're deep in decision fatigue. One, you say, I don't care more than you mean it. Two, you procrastinate not because you're lazy, but because you're overloaded. Three, you make impulsive decisions just to get them over with. Even judges, trained to be impartial, were found to give more favorable rulings early in the day. By late afternoon, harsh sentences skyrocketed. No one is immune, not leaders, not parents, not you. Your brain's prefrontal cortex is the control tower of logic and planning, but it has a limited fuel tank. Each decision sips from that tank, even deciding between almond milk or oat. As fatigue sets in, one, you become more impulsive. Two, you avoid hard tasks. Three, you defer decisions, which piles on stress. That's why you're more likely to, one, order takeout instead of cooking. Two, skip the gym. Three, buy something online you didn't plan to. Four, doom scroll because choosing a video is too much. This isn't a character flaw. It's a neurological traffic jam. Now imagine this loop. You wake up late. You skip breakfast. You rush decisions all day. You're exhausted by evening. So you binge, you scroll, you avoid. Then the guilt kicks in. Then tomorrow it starts again, but with less mental bandwidth. This is the trap, but there's a way out. Here's how to break the loop and reclaim control. One, decision templates. Reduce repeated decisions. One, breakfast, same two options. Think of it as setting up mental shortcuts. Fewer choices, more clarity. Two, the first hour rule. Make important decisions before 11 a.m. Your brain is freshest. Save routine or reactive tasks for later. Three, the rule of three. Limit choices to three max. Too many options equal cognitive overload. Keep things tight. Less friction, faster action. Four, micro routines. Stack simple habits. One, turn off notifications at 8 p.m. Two, lay out clothes the night before. Three, create a no decision lunch schedule. Tiny anchors, massive mental space saved. Five, delegate or automate. Apps can do your grocery list. Subscriptions can simplify supplies. Let machines handle the trivial. You handle the meaningful. Six, build decision-free zones. Designate blocks of time where you make no decisions. Walk, meditate, sit in silence. This resets your cognitive load. Seven, use if-then rules. If I'm offered dessert, I'll say no unless it's Friday. This reduces in-the-moment strain and keeps you aligned. Decision fatigue is the invisible hand pulling your strings. It doesn't scream, it whispers. It chips away at your energy, your willpower, and eventually, your freedom. But when you become aware, you become free. You can outsmart the glitch. You can build a system that protects your mind. So here's your final choice today, and it's an easy one. Will you continue draining your brain, or will you design your life to think less and live more? Your brain will thank you for it.